Hello and welcome to tcyonline.com. In this week's edition, we will be discussing the solutions for sentence equivalence sprint 4. Question number 1. While solving this question, we will follow the similar strategy that we had discussed in the previous session, that is 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1. This is the best strategy used for sentence equivalence questions. You need to figure out two different pairs and in each pair you will have two similar words. Okay. So, by doing this, I'm left out with two loose words and those two loose words can never be my answer choice. Okay, let's try it out. Obtuse, dim-witted, idiotic, lacking wit, lacking intelligence, lacking discernment. Okay, so obtuse can be paired with undiscerning. Okay, similarly, wily, wily is deceitful, guile. Okay capable enough of cheating, faking, okay, so wily can easily be paired with crafty, wily and crafty is a pair, obtuse and undiscerning is a pair, uncanny, carrying that supernatural things, okay, like carrying a sixth sense, so uncanny, do I have a pair for uncanny, no, what is artless then, artless is guileless, okay, genuine, so, I do not have a pair for artless. I do not have a pair for uncanny. So, uncanny and artless are my loose words which can be eliminated. So, let's read the question and figure out which is the best pair to fit the blank. Mueller was so blank that he never could be accused of a blatant lie. So, Mueller had some sort of a quality that he could never be blamed or accused of a blatant or outright lie. Okay? Now, I have my small little friend, that's the colon, which is an expounding sign. That is to say that the successive part of the sentence would expound or elaborate or explain what has been stated earlier. Now, let's see. His deceptiveness worked its seductive charm. His means Mueller's deceptiveness worked its seductive charm. Now, Mueller had this quality of being deceptive. So, Mueller was so what? Deceptive. I recycle this word deceptiveness and I find a suitable plugin for this blank. So, I look for a word similar to deceptiveness. That is wily. And together with wily, I have crafty. So, the answer choices for my blank would be wily and crafty. Question number two. Let's do this. Two plus two plus one plus one. Okay. Now, look at this word, periodically. Periodically is doing things in intervals, okay? Similar word would be sporadically. Sporadically is also doing things intermittently, okay? That's not regularly. Periodically and sporadically are a pair, okay? Now, let's see. Monotonously, boring, okay? Something that doesn't have variety. Do I have a similar word, industrial, industriously? No. Diligently? No. Fruitfully? Not at all. So, monot monotonously is a loose word for me. Now, look at this word, industriously. This is a tricky word. It sounds like something related to industry. May not. Okay. Industriously is hardworking, putting in a lot of work, diligently. Okay. So, industriously and diligently is a pair. So, I have two pairs now, periodically, sporadically, industriously and diligently okay monotonously is a loose word fruitfully okay this is a self-evident and self-explanatory word so i can eliminate monotonous monotonously and fruitfully now look at the question and figure out which the hr manager began to work blank on various employee engagement projects now how did the hr manager began to work I do not know, but I have a friend over here that is the hyphen, which is an expounding signal. Now, the next part of the sentence would explain the HR manager began to work in what manner, okay? Though never to the point that she failed to attend to her employees' problems. So, she began to work in a way, but she did not neglect her employees' problems. Since whether she would be elevated to the position of Vice President HR was determined not only by her productive projects, but also to some extent by employee appraisals. So, her career, her future, 
that is she wanted to become the vice president hr okay so that was only possible if she does some productive projects plus her employees give her some positive appraisals now let's see so how will the hr manager work in such a scenario where her career depends on employee appraisals okay will she work periodically or sporadically or will she work with a lot of effort okay so obviously she'll work with a lot of effort because her career as a vice president hr depends on her productive projects plus uh, the employee appraisals okay so periodically and sporadically are eliminated what is left out is industriously and diligently so the hr manager began to work industriously or diligently on various employee engagement programs okay now let's see what the answers are that is industriously and diligently question number three now let's do the pairing innate innate is something that comes by birth okay something you are born with innate qualities are qualities that you are born with so a similar word for innate would be hardwired something that comes by birth so innate and hardwired is a pair indiscernible indiscernible is something that's so 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 obscure that it's not easy to identify that is say it's not at all obvious okay that is indiscernible difficult to identify so do i have a similar word may not circumscribed circumscribed is something that is circum see circum is like circumference okay round and round okay so something that is bounded okay put inside a boundary okay now pervasive pervasive is spread spread all over now malleable malleable is something that can be molded okay something that can be given the desired form or shape now there's only one possible pair that i have innate and hardwired okay lucky enough let's look at the question and uh, finalize the answer the long held belief that human mind is a clean slate okay the long held belief that human mind is a clean slate that means there's nothing on it it's clean able to be shaped or molded at will and without prejudice have been gainsaid okay this is the trigger has been gainsaid gainsaid is contradicted okay so this belief that human mind is a clean clean slate has been contradicted by palmer's bash whose study into humans minds wiring shows that not only do human not only do newborn babies display certain penchants penchants are inclinations strong likings but also that these predilections predilections is again like penchants strong likings may well be okay so this is a belief that it's clean slate human mind doesn't have anything inscribed on it has been contradicted by palmer's bash who shows through his studies that newborns they are born with some strong likings okay some strong penchants or predilections okay so this proves that human mind may well be what that is innate or hardwired okay that fits in okay because it's not clean slate there are predilections there are penchants which the newborn is born with these likings come by birth okay so that makes sense innate and hardwired so the answers for this question innate and hardwired question number 4 let's do the pairing that is wit i know wit is wisdom intellect what is similar to wit now bite you know this is a very gre kind of a word which plays on the secondary meaning okay bite it's not like biting that a dog bites okay or a snake bite bite also means a statement okay a performance a speech a dialogue which has got that barb which has got that sting or which has got that witty wittiness in it okay an intelligent kind of a maybe humor or wit or sarcasm okay that sort of a thing is also bite okay so i can pair bite with wit okay so wit and bite 
could be a possible pair now remember this word bite because GRE loves testing such words which play on the secondary meanings okay so wit and bite could be a pair now mystery and suspense is an obvious pair okay intrigue intrigue is also a kind of suspense so let's put mystery suspense intrigue all together okay flourish flourish is to grow vigorously flourish can also be to wave hands or to make some showy gestures okay so flourish is a loose word kick it out now let's look at the question and finalize the answer the question is here the mystery of Mitzi at the new house cinema a breeding ground for dystopian family dramas has enough blank to please the discerning so has enough blank to please the discerning discerning is people who have that fine refinement of taste they have clean taste and they are able to enjoy certain things which have intellect okay so the only possible answer choices for me is wit and bite the choices for this question would be wit and bite question number five now I'll do the same thing that's the pairing now ingenious ingenious is clever intelligent why shrewd okay so where do I find a similar word adept adept is skillful okay it's not like ingenious crafty crafty is deceitful guileful okay S capable enough of cheating so I have a similar word for crafty that is wily now you if you remember this is a pair that we have discussed in a previous question crafty and wily okay now ingenuous or naive innocent okay a person who is genuine guileless so ingenuous and naive is a pair crafty and wily is a pair ingenious and adept could be eliminated now let's look at the question and finalize the answer the question is here the budget would address the way in which wealthy unscrupulous people reduce their tax bills okay so the budget is going to address these well the unscrupulous people who reduce their tax bills that is how do they do that okay which is by employing some type of accountants and taking deductions for things like mortgage interests state taxes charitable donations and Cadillac healthcare plans so I'm looking for a word who you know fake accounts okay these accountants are more or less like unscrupulous okay I'm looking for word like unscrupulous and which is a pair that goes well with unscrupulous can it be ingenuous or naive not at all it's could be the opposite of what I'm looking for so the exact pair that I'm looking for is crafty and wily which is like cheatful deceitful guileful okay so that is very close to unscrupulous so crafty accountants or wily accountants okay so answer for this question crafty and wily thank you for watching this video keep visiting tcyonline.com for the best GRE prep thank you